All right, um, some more progress. I was uh, able to hook up the second BDL-168, uh, which I posted before. Uh, everything's connected. I just have to tidy up the, the power cable here and put some clips on the low connect cable just to make it look neater. Um, and then obviously I'm not done you know, connecting every block, but um, some of the blocks that I had on the BDL-168A, which is this one, this is A and that's B, um, I decided to rearrange. So I moved um, some of these over because um, the way I laid it out originally wasn't the way I'd like to have it now. So I really, really want to stick to um, uh, the main lines through the BDL-168A and the short line and other little sections um, through the B. So I had to do some rearranging. The only weird thing was that I ran out of zones here for the main line. I only needed one extra, so I just um, I put it at the end of the BDL 168B, and I made it 16. This way, it's kind of out of the way, and I can fill up the rest uh, with the other sections. Um, I still have a little room, even with all the short lines, short line cabling done, but um, I'm, I'm not there yet. Um, the only thing was that I just simply I, plug, I put it into this BDL, but I just, instead of putting it on zone, um, sorry, district three, which is the one that can, that basically feeds uh, all the short line, instead of doing zone three, I put it on zone two, just for that one. And um, so I, I labeled it, this way I wouldn't, um, I, w I would know that it's not on, on the other zone, in case I have a short circuit and that, you know, it turns off or whatever. I, I know which one it's on. Uh, another thing I did, which you might notice um, with the cabling, um, I got a side of that. Ooh, I got a side of that and cover it. But anyways, um, I, I tried to color code. So anything to do with this BDL, the, the B is blue. So you can see all the blue tags are heading that way. And anything to do with that BDL is green and then anything else um, anything that's a little bit different um, I, I did yellow so that's why I did those in yellow because those are I didn't want to mix them up so it just kind of brings my attention to those um, and doesn't let them kind of disappear into all this blue and all that green so that, that's, that was part of the wiring re rewiring that I did and the reason why you see a little kind of like tan behind the green is because those are the original tags, like this one. I haven't used this yet. Um, so I tagged them with the regular masking tape and I just basically covered them up with the green because um, I didn't feel like ripping off every little piece of tape. So I just went over it, no big deal. All right, so uh, now that I have all that done, um, I, you know, obviously I, re I had to rearrange everything on JMRI and reassign because uh, it, it um, uh, the BDLs automatically make uh, blocks and addresses so that there's no conflicts um, so I, you know things weren't assigned correctly so I finally got everything back up and the reason why you see all this red here is because uh, I was trying to see if I would have any problems basically setting off every single block at the same time I wanted to see if anything would happen with the booster or if I would lose a lot of power. And uh, I wasn't able to get every block because I'm not done yet. I still have to wire up um, these blocks here and this little section here. But, um, oh, and, and these two, I just uh, had to extend the cable. They were, they were wired before, but I have to extend the cable, so I haven't been able to get to that. But, you know, I would say, you know, three quarters of the layout is wired and there's power going through the, through the uh, tracks. So right now everything's working. Everything's there's nothing weird. There's no you know uh, short circuits or loss of power, and that's good. So you know just walking around a little bit, I um, put an engine basically on, on every block just to make sure I have um, you know one there, two there. The Y has one in each one. One, two, three. I have. One there, one there, and then obviously on the other side as well. But, you know, I just wanted to know that I wasn't going to continue to wire 
and then have a problem um, later on. So, and that one here. So yeah, the only thing is that, you know, like I said, this wire has to be a little longer that's because it doesn't reach right now and so does that one. I had it hooked up, I had those two sections hooked up to the A and I moved it over to the B and that's why it's now a little too short. So um, that's where I'm at right now. I mean, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, I mounted the, the, the B XPAs that I had for those reversing uh, sections that I wasn't detecting. I mounted over here and I contacted Digitrax. There's one there under this reversing section and there's one right there under the Y which is the reversing section there. Uh, anyway, so yeah, I, I contacted Digitrax and you know, they basically gave me the typical answer, which was um, uh, either the wires are too long, so that's why I have to move the B, the BXPA over to right there and shorten the uh, run to the track. Um, and, you know, they're saying that the detection problem is that it's, it's too long uh, to, to send the message back, even though I'm using 12 gauge wire the way they recommended. And I know they also recommend that you put the BDLs in a more centralized location, but the most centralized location that I have in this layout is in there. And there's no way I'm climbing in there all the time to go fix and fish things out. So, uh, you know, I wanted it here originally when I first planned everything. So I'm not changing my mind if I don't have to. And I'm definitely not moving all that. So, um, like I said, everything's working. The BDLs are responding beautifully. It's just those BXPA units that are not great. But, you know, the, the, it's not a big deal because either way, the only, the only reason why they were turning off was because I was using one engine with like an old-fashioned Digitrax, you know, the, the original Digitrax decoders, which are like the, one, the ones I have on there are like 10 years old, uh, I guess don't draw as much power. As soon as they put the ESU decoders with the you know the the bigger SD four dash twos that are sound equipped, it, it set them off immediately on both on both this uh, this reversing section and the other one. So here's how I see it: if I run one engine alone, uh, which is unlikely, I'm, I'm usually running consists of two or more. Uh, it'll probably be uh, an SD four dash two, and it won't be like you know a little switcher. It's not going to be running around here. Uh, I'm just using that for the yard and for like little industries, things like that. But you know, the the other engines that I'm, that I'm running are most likely going to be in a constant. So whatever, it doesn't pick it up. You know, the important part is that that it's not short circuiting and it's reacting well to the, you know, to the uh, tr to the track work, and and that's all I care about. Uh, if it doesn't sense it, whatever. If I have to run a single engine and for some reason it doesn't sense that little section, I'm not. I'm not too worried about it, but I'm gonna try to not do that anyway. Uh, and I don't have to try very hard because that's the way I've been running the trains for a year anyway in, in consists um, for, for various reasons. I feel like they kind of help each other. If there's a little dust or a little dirt in the wheels, you know, one kind of pushes the other one and if it gets a little stuck and um, it, it gets it going again. Um, so anyways, that's where I'm at. I'm excited and it's looking like it's going to work. Um, I'm looking to test run it with my friend from um, Pennsylvania. He's going to basically uh, remotely um, control my laptop from his house and he's going to just see if he can dispatch, you know, I mean, I don't have signals yet or anything like that, but at least he can see what's going on here at my house from his house and he can also, um, uh, you know, change all the turnouts on the main line. Uh, all the way through the entire layout. So let's see how that goes. I'll keep you updated. And the next step after I get all this done, besides rest, because this has been like harder than going to the gym. There's so much wiring, getting under the bench work and, and doing all that. It's, it's not, it's not uh, <laughs> easy. Um, my shoulders are on fire and I feel like I just went to the gym for like three days straight. Uh, but I did get a lot done and I've been really pushing to get this done anyway, so uh, I'm glad I'm, I'm uh, making progress here. 
All right. Until next time, uh, that's all I got for now.